What is going on, guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily Rewind. This is where we go back a week and give you all of your tech news stories in one single video. And this week started to branch out a little bit. We're still getting Galaxy S20 news, you know, with the like issues and pushed updates that are going to go out for this phone that you probably want to get and want to know about. Also, OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro, um, big time information specs, the way it's going to look, all of that stuff, which that phone should be launching on April 15th, by the way. But anyways, Check out this week. Let me know what your favorite news story is of the week, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy S20, S28 Plus, S20 Ultra. If you're in the UK, the camera fix update is rolling out right now. And uh, you can download, you should be able to download it right now. I know people on EE, the EE carrier are getting it right now. So all you blokes, I guess that is, that, is that, what I mean, friends, or is that just for guys? If there's something else for girls, let me know what the word is for girls, but all you blokes should be able to download it right this second for your phone and it'll fix that camera update right now. Let me know if there's anybody in the UK that doesn't have it just yet for their Galaxy S20. And the last story of the day, also about the Galaxy S20. There is an issue, it looks like, with the Galaxy S20 line of devices. Not for everybody, but just it's kind of random at this point where they'll actually be, to use the word random again, random reboots of your phone. And it could be something that is easy as maybe just plugging in a pair of headphones on the bottom and it'll reboot or it'll just randomly reboot for no reason at all, it, just seemingly. Well, it looks like there will be a future update that obviously fixes this. Um, so if you've been, the XDA developers is reporting that the update should be out in the future. They don't say exactly when, but that there will be a fix for it and that it's, you know, it's not something that can't be fixed with your phone. So let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the new iPad Pros, the iPad Pro 2020s. If you didn't know, the last time they released iPad Pros was 2018. And the iPad Pro 2018 versus the iPad 2020s is not that big a difference. And the reason we know is because a user on Reddit actually already received his iPad Pro 2020. Now the iPad Pro 2020 comes with an A12Z processor. The iPad 2018 Pro comes with an A12X Bionic processor. And the scores, like I said, are not that different. You can see single score is 1114 on the new one, 1111 on the 2018, multi-core 4654 on the new one, 4604 on the 2018 one. And then lastly, the metal score, 9894 versus 9146. So that one's a little bit higher uh, versus the, the, the older one. But it's I don't think it's enough at that point to probably warrant an upgrade unless you love taking photos on your iPad Pro, I don't know, it's probably not worth it because you can still use their new uh, Magic keyboard that's coming out that has a trackpad on it and all that on both the 2018 and the 2020 version. Something to keep in mind, you might want to save yourself some money and get the 2018 version. And the last story of the day, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. I'm on the unlocked version and I'm on AT&T and technically T reached out to me via Twitter. He's also a YouTuber. Um, I'll link his channel down below. Click on his channel, subscribe, good guy. And uh, he reached out to me and informed me right when I woke up, I saw it. Hey Greg, the update is out. He's on at and I'm on at and Like I said, we both got it. So I have that new camera auto focus fix update on my phone. I haven't tried it out too much yet, so I will try it out, but I do have it so far on my phone, at and unlocked. I'm assuming at this point, the regular versions of at and phones also have it. So if you have the non-unlocked version, go into settings and then go into uh, software updates and hit download and install, whatever they name it on your at and phone. Check to see if it's there. Also, I also assume it's probably on T-Mobile. I haven't got any confirmation for people that have T-Mobile, but if you're on T-Mobile, you have the T-Mobile version of the phone or the unlocked version. Also check for the update as well, same way I just showed you a second ago, and see if you have that update to fix the autofocus on your phone. There you guys go. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Google Pixel Buds 2. Now we've known about these for a while now, since the launch, I believe of the Pixel 4 is when they, they announced these. And these are gonna be their newest wireless, completely wireless earbuds. And they should be coming out very, very soon. And the latest from these earbuds is that they're going to come with fast charging 
support. So you should be able to charge these earbuds very, very quickly um, versus, you know, maybe last generations that it took a little bit longer and had a wire on there and that and that. But very good to see that they're going to uh, support fast charging. Other than that, we don't know that much about these earbuds. And other, they, they probably will come out, I would assume, April or May. Maybe they're going to get pushed back now at this point because of the way the world is going, but we'll wait and see. And the last story of the day, and we kind of already spoke about this One UI 2.1 update coming to some of these phones, but we have more information and it's actually already starting to roll out. Now, this is for the Galaxy S10, Note 10, S10 Lite, and Note 10 Lite. And basically, all of these phones get every single feature. Those four phones that I mentioned are gonna be getting this one of these features except for night hyperlapse on the Note 10 Lite. Now this is an official press release from Samsung. They posted it on March 25th, which is AKA today. And you can see your guys are gonna get a bunch of uh, photo improvements and video improvements at that. You're gonna get single take which allows you to take a number of photos and videos really, really quickly. And if so, if, you know, you have a kid or something, they move a lot, it'll capture the best shot where they're not moving. You can also get the ability for custom filters, the intelligent gallery, which groups photos automatically, easy sharing capabilities, so you can share you know, your music or files really, really quickly. And the really, really cool thing is that this update seems to be already rolling out right now, the One UI 2.1 update in Germany at the very least, for the S10 Plus, and not only is it rolling out right now, but if you read the tweet from Max Weinbach, it says it has the new AR emoji, pro video, 4K 60 out of the front camera. That's huge for me, I love that. Quick share, music share, and more. This is a big, big deal, and it's a big deal because 4K 60, to me, I love the way it looks, and it wasn't on the front camera, but it had the capability. Samsung just added it with this update. So when you get these updates in America, Canada, UK, Australia, Asia, wherever you live, and you get this update, you're gonna be getting all these features as well for free. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Google Play Movies app. After a recent APK teardown by XDA developers, they found out that it looks like Google is going to be offering free ad-supported movies, hundreds of them to be a uh, matter of fact. And that's a good thing, I guess, because people obviously don't want, especially right now, have money to maybe purchase or rent movies. And if they can get free movies and not have to play a subscription like they do to Netflix or to Hulu or some other service, this could be fantastic. I don't know which movies, obviously, and I don't know when this is gonna be released, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you excited about this? Is this something you would take advantage of? Let me know in the comments. And the last two stories are about the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. First of all, check out this OnePlus 8 Pro official render. Tell me this color isn't one of the coolest colors you've seen on a phone ever. This striking green, whatever you wanna call it, mint green. I love this color. I, I would love to get more colors like this on a phone. But anyways, let's check out what we see on here. You see USB-C at the bottom with speakers and microphone. At the top, you see another microphone. You don't see a headphone jack at all, which is not a, that big of a surprise, obviously. And then you see that beautiful, awesome green color with cameras on the back. Besides that though, what about specs? We have official looking specs as well. This comes from Ishan Argarwal. Let's check out the OnePlus 8 first, which is gonna get a 6.5 inch. Uh, full HD plus display with a 90 Hertz uh, refresh rate. It's going to come in glow black and green 128 256 storage variants with UFS 3.0. The RAM amounts are going to be 8 and 12 Snapdragon 865 with 5G networking. Cameras are going to be 48, 16 and 2. Selfie camera 16. Battery size 4300 milliamps and the charging speed 30 watts at warp speed 30 times with the waterproofing, no IP rating on there, so no uh, waterproofness. But that's not it, guys. OnePlus 8 Pro blows it out of the water. This is ba basically the most complete phone you probably completely get. 6.78 inch Quad HD Plus, 120 hertz Super AMOLED display. That's what I wanted with my Samsung and they didn't give it to me. Hopefully they'll push out an update. Anyways, comes out in blue, black, and green. You can get it in storage variants of 128 and 256 UFS 3.0. RAM amounts 8 or 12. Snapdragon 865 5G processor. Main cameras, you're going to get 48 megapixel, 48, 8, and 5. Also a 16 megapixel selfie camera. The battery size is 45, 10 milliamps. So not the largest battery. 
charging speed, get this. So they have 30 watt uh, wired charging, but then they also have 30 watt wireless fast charging. That's amazingly fast and three watt reverse wireless charging so you can reverse uh, charge something on the back of the device and the IP waterproof rating IP68 which is uh, I think the best on any phone or at least ties it at that point which is gonna tie it with Galaxy phones and iPhones. That is a complete monster of a phone that basically has every single spec you could want. The Quad HD 120 Hertz display to up to 256 gigabytes of storage, maybe some people would want to see more than that, or also they'd probably want to see an SD card. So I guess you could complain in that regard, but it has the latest processor, it has 5G, it has 12 gigabytes of RAM, maybe you're gonna say you want 16, but 12 will probably be enough, especially with how fast OnePlus phones run. Um, we're 30 watt reverse charging, 30 watt charging. It's just, it's a complete phone. Let me know. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is Google Duo, the video chat app, the one that I use, that I use with my friends and my family. I definitely use this video chat app the most, and hopefully you do as well. It's great. Um, they've now increased the group video chat limit up to 12 people at one time on the screen. And uh, this should be taking effect right now. If you don't have it, it should be rolling out very, very soon. But um, yeah. Try it, it's awesome. Next up is about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite tablet. Now, they already have the Tab S5e, and I would think the Tab S6 Lite would probably be a better tablet, but it looks like it's gonna be good in some ways and maybe worse in other ways. And let's check out the colors and the specs. So first of all, you'll see that the look of this, it comes in blue and it comes in gray. Um, fairly simple tablet, when, you know, anything that I was expecting in terms of design and stuff uh, is pretty much dead on with that. As for specs, a 10.4 inch tablet with an LCD display, not an LED display, but an LCD display. Also, the resolution is 2000 by 1200 resolution, four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, and then also the battery size is 70, 40 milliamps. I'm gonna be kind of surprised if they end up replacing this with the Tab S5e, because S5e has, a, has beautiful speakers and uh, a great uh, display. So I'm kind of curious if they'll end up switching that over. What do you guys think? Is this something you're gonna pick up? And the last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy S20. If you're on T-Mobile, the new camera fixing autofocus update is officially out for you guys so if you don't if you haven't already downloaded it what you want to do is swipe down from the top go into settings go all the way down to software updates download and install and it should look for the newest downloaded update download that update and um, restart your phone for me it fixed it slightly better not like hugely better. I know some people are saying it made a big, big difference to me. It made a little bit of a difference. Um, there is another video that I put out actually today that adds um, potentially more fix to that after you do this update. So uh, check that video out. I'll, I'll link it in the description down below for you to catch up and possibly improve it even better. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Apple Watch Series 6, which would be coming out at the end of this year, or towards the end of the year, uh, 2020. And it looks like we've got some rumored details that could be coming about, about this watch. And they're pretty impressive so far. So it's Apple Watch Series 6 to feature uh, Touch ID, sleep tracking, along with Wi-Fi 6 support. A bigger battery is also supposed to be included with that watch, but Touch ID, that means they're going to add a fingerprint to the watch itself so you can unlock the watch when need be if you wanna lock it up so people can't get into your information or if you wanna use Apple Pay or whatever it may be. So that's a cool little thing that they're gonna add in there. I wonder if they're gonna put it underneath the display um, like Samsung does with their phones. That would actually be really, really cool. And also Wi-Fi 6 is obviously the fastest Wi-Fi available. So as long as your router takes advantage of it. So some cool little features coming to the, it looks to be coming anyway, to the Apple's Series Watch 6. And the last story of the day, Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra on sale up to $200 off. Now when I say up to $200 off, it depends which version of the phone you're gonna get. S20, S20 Plus are $200 off. You can get those for $799 and $999 respectively on Samsung's website and also via Amazon. If you want the Ultra version, it looks like it's $1399 on Amazon, but you can get it for $1299 
on Samsung's website. I'll link that stuff down below. Not bad deals, especially if you're not looking to trade in a phone. If you want to trade in a phone, you can get these phones for a lot less. You get up to $700 trade-in value still going on with Samsung. They're not giving any free gifts, but you can still get very, very high trade-in values even though you didn't, maybe, maybe you missed out on uh, the pre-order. So that stuff's linked down below. Take advantage of it if you're not, it's a great phone. Um, I absolutely love it. I've, I've still, even though autofocusing is still kind of a little bit of an issue with the phone, I still capture some great photos and videos with the phone. I'm, I've been happy with it and, and in general since I love it, but yeah. Let's get into the tech news for a story of the day is about the OnePlus 8 and you have to check out these renders for some of these colors. Here we go, interstellar glow for the OnePlus 8. This is gonna remind you of the Aura Glow that came out for the Galaxy, what was it, S10 series of phones. And uh, awesome, obviously these are renders, so it's not gonna show the, the full mirrory colored look on the back, but they're kinda emulating what it's going to look like and the colors that it's gonna achieve, a lot of purples and reds, oranges, all those kind of colors. And I think that's gonna be a very, very popular color to get for the OnePlus 8. And then you also see the green and you see the black. I love, I, I actually love all these colors. I like the green, I like the black, and I like the Aura. Um, if I had the opportunity to choose, I'd probably try Aura first and then the green. But amazing looking colors um, thus far for the uh, OnePlus 8 phone. The other big news is this comes from Ishan Agarwal about the OnePlus 8 Pro display. So he's saying it's gonna be 6.7, eight inch, super fluid curved, 120 hertz display. It's going to have more accurate colors than ever before. It's also going to feature MEMC, HDR10+, 1400 nits brightness. I think that's even brighter than the Galaxy phones. I think those are 1200, I believe they are. But at least that 1400 is super bright. With always on 10 bit HDR, Oxygen OS will get even more smoother and faster with more optimizations and there'll be a new haptic engine 2.0. I don't know, this phone is truly turning out into a massive like phone that, it's the dream phone, that's all I can call it. Now they have to get the cameras right on this. In the past the cameras haven't been exceptional. Hopefully they make the cameras exceptional this time to make them compete with the big boys. Apple, um, Huawei, iPhone, I already said Apple, <laughs> Samsung phones as well. Um, so they definitely have to do that part of it. The battery is obviously a little bit small, especially with this being able to do 2K and 120 Hertz if you run the phone in, at that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of this phone so far? Is it the dream phone? Yes or no? What's the, or what is the dream phone at this point? Let us know in the comments down below. For me, I'm saying this is the dream phone, at least spec wise. Obviously that could change once the phone comes out but it literally has almost everything at this point. Thanks for watching, see you down the road.